Hey guys, this is your fiery friend the Inferno Man here, and if you're into games, you're right where you need to be. But before we get into it, if you like the content that I put out there, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit me up with a like, or even better, subscribe to me. It really shows that people do care about my content. Now, if you have questions, comments, stuff you'd like to see played or discussed, you can at me on Twitter or chat directly with me as I stream two to three times a week on Twitch. A visual link for those are up on the screen right now, and I will have direct links in the details below. And for today's video, I'm sorry guys, I'm just going to say it right now, I'm not going to be very happy doing this, it's mostly going to be a, me being a little heated, so bear in mind with this, this is going to be a bit of a touchy subject for some play people out there. We're going to ask, of course, all of you guys a question here for this hot take. So, I'm sure all of you guys have a favorite character out there, just think of that character. What happens when your character's skin color changes? Whether your favorite character somehow now has dark skin, or your character somehow has light skin. Do you still feel the same about your character? Now keep in mind, this is just based on fan art. And the reason and point I'm trying to get to is, over the weekend, on my timeline, I ended up running into a post where some artist, a Japanese artist, was bullied and to a point where they ended up taking down their art. I'm going to show you on screen right now what the art is. If you don't know this character, this character's name is Nessa. She is a Pokemon, I believe, Pokemon gym leader from the latest game, Sword and Shield. It's Sorry, it's been a little while since I've played the game. But as you can see, and I'll even be... I'll even directly show you the wiki page about her. So you can see on the wiki page right here from the screenshot, Nessa is a tall, slender black girl with long blue hair, black striped hair, and blue eyes. You can see, of course, painfully obvious that this is the main design of the character, the default. The art that you see here now is what the Japanese artist interpreted or decided to design her with. You can notice right here, the character still kind of has a touch of the color, but it looks like the color is mostly now a light skin version of the same character. Now, where am I going with this? You're probably wondering. So as I asked that question earlier, do you care if your favorite character's skin color changes? And as you see right here with some of the tweets that unfortunately have shown, this artist got bullied. You had a lot of people that got really mad that the artist interpreted her, Nessa, the character, in lighter skin. And... This actually kind of brought up a question that some people mention. There are some people that get mad when a character becomes quote unquote whitewashed, but there are some people that defend or don't believe in the idea that a character can be blackwashed. Now, I know you can see right here, the main tweets come from this account that you can kind of see up here, which ironically, if you look at the account, they're using a black version of Shinobu from the series Demon Slayer. I, I don't know if there's an irony to this right here, but that's just, let's, we'll take it for what it is. Now, before I continue again, if you see this person, as I tell you with every other hot take I do, if you see these individuals online, please do not go after the accounts. Do not attack these individuals. You are not going to make the situation better. Also, because I already went through their whole little timeline and I've noticed that this is a person that doesn't care about acknowledging what they said it can be a bit contradictive. All right. Now, continuing on, I personally, as a person that has earned a degree in animation and also graphic design, I honestly don't care. Fan art is what it is. It's art made by fans of the game, the series, and they can interpret whatever they want. You are doing no help to the person by attacking them to a point where, as you see on the screen, this person ended up deleting the tweet and the art from their actual Twitter. And that makes me mad because if you don't like the art, if you are not a fan of it, whether the character becomes whitewashed, blackwashed, whatever, then leave them alone. They are doing nothing harmful to you. If you're not a fan of something, you just leave it be. There, there is no one that's deliberately being hurt by having this art up. And and the thing that just, and again, I'm sorry, this actually really does piss me off because I can't stand when some people get bullied for their art. And there's, trust me, there's some art out there that I don't really like, but I don't go after that person to say to a point that they need to be taken down. That needs to stop. Do not ever bully someone. Bullying is bad. In this instance right here, 
it's unfortunate that the language barrier also makes it very difficult for the artist. But from what I understood, and after I dug into this a bit, the Japanese artist in question did apologize, and then that's when the tweet was deleted. But they shouldn't have had to apologize. This is a situation where an apology does not need to be stated. And I'm just going to, again, say it one more time. Bullying is bad. If you don't like how the character design here has changed, then leave it be. This right here is a slightly more touchier one, mainly because the character's original design and envisioning was based upon, you know, the region that they came from. So here is a picture of Black Panther. And underneath you, it's the armor. You can see it's a... Obviously, it's a white character. If you're not a fan of this, then leave it be. I do get, however, in this instance, this character, Black Panther, T'Challa, the original envisioning of the character is based upon very much an important part of the character. You know, Wakanda, it's, it's, it's an African country and everything and all that stuff. I'm not, of course, big on super big on comics and comic lore, so bear with me if I'm missing details. I'm sorry. But the point I'm trying to make here is this is where it gets touchier because the sole envisioning of the character is based upon, you know, that region they come from. So changing them to white here can be seen as a little, a little iffy. However, my point still stands. If you don't like it, leave it be. Attacking them does nothing. You're, you're sometimes even emboldening people to do more of this stuff if you fight them. So don't do it. It's really easy to avoid these kinds of situations. Now, if you want to fix this problem, my only personal thing I just say is just, if you don't like, just make your own original characters. I think that's probably the simplest way that you can avoid these kinds of situations. But I'm not going to lie. Some people out there just want to do a... a a skin color swap of maybe Hinata from Naruto. Maybe some people do want a black Shinobu. But if that's what you want to do, that's fine. Still, whatever side you stand on on this, one thing we can all agree on is bullying is wrong. And I don't want to see it from anybody. That's pretty much it for this video. I'm Again, it's not very anything any deep or anything. I just want to put out that conversation of this is why I, I hate Twitter. I, I created it a while ago, and the more I kind of interact with it, the more it makes me frustrated with the world. But I know Twitter is its own world in itself. But anyways, that's all I'm going to say for that. What do you guys think? Again, I'm going to ask you that question. Do you really care about what your character's designs look like if another artist interprets that character in a different way? Do you get mad about the skin color change? Does it, does it warrant bullying in any way? Because the answer is it doesn't. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys. All right. Well, we'll have a happier video next time. But anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if I helped you out, you learned something, or at least I entertained you. Just remember that, again, no matter what you do play in the game of life, always make sure to burn bright. Later.